Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you how you can change some of the settings in your Google Chrome browser to be able to block some content that you wouldn't want your students to be able to be searching for whether they're directly or indirectly looking for things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that for, for this tutorial you're going to want to make sure you've already downloaded the Google Chrome browser. It's what your students are using at school and the reason I recommend it is because we're already using Google accounts. Um, and since a lot of the material and the creation of, of activities that your students will be doing has to do with their Google account, it, they just work hand in hand and it's a more smooth transition. Um, if you don't have the browser currently downloaded, you can use Firefox or Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever it is that you have available on your computer and just type in the search bar uh, Google Chrome the very first search result that comes back uh, will lead you to a link that will detect what you're already using and allow you to download the best version for you. All right. The second thing you're going to want to do now is once you've already established that you're using Google Chrome, uh, make sure that you're using a Google account. Again, I'm logged in as my Euclid Schools Google account. So you can create a free Gmail account uh, and that way you can have access to the settings that you're going to be using and and be able to maintain those. So I'm going to type in next Google Safe Search. And I'd like you to notice that over here in the right hand corner you see a picture of these different colored balls over here. This is actually showing you that the Safe Search is locked, uh, meaning that it cannot be altered without your approval once, once you're in your account. The first result here is turning the safe search on or off. And this is, takes you to a web page that explains the settings. Uh, in order to alter these settings, you're going to click on the blue button. And you're going to notice that mine already has a lock next to it. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the safe search, which is going to require typing in the, your password. All right, now it's going to unlock the safe search after I click on it. And I'm going to go over here and open another tab. And let's just say that I was doing um, some research on panda bears. Okay. I'm going to notice that on my screen here, that picture is no longer there. But if I go back to my safe search settings, I can now lock it again. And this time, when I go back to my search results, I'm going to refresh the page using those new settings in place, and I'm going to notice that picture comes back. So if you happen to be walking by at home while your students are working on homework and you know, you're doing something in the house and you happen to notice that they're searching for things and you don't see that picture up there, that's going to alert you that they're not using the account that you have set up for them to be able to do that searching at home. Now, if you go back and read what it's talking about in here when the safe search, it's actually talking about blocking sexually explicit material, whether they're searching for it directly or indirectly. Now at school we have content filters that block most everything. But as I tell my students, if you go searching for something that is inappropriate and, and not worthy of your time, chances are you're going to find something that you, sh that you don't need. Um, and there's consequences that come with that at school using the equipment inappropriately. Um, at home, this is a way that you can also be able to have those same rules in place. It's good to have that balance between school and home. Um, at school, uh, with the safe search filters at school, the children aren't going to be coming into those types of, of matters, and if they do, it's going to be in isolated situations. So I would really recommend trying to use this at home to kind of balance what we're doing at schools, and of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to go to the home page, click on the questions or comments button, and uh, leave me a, a message there so that I can get back to you and maybe uh, help you with any problems that you're working through.